Hi, and welcome back for another WW Weekly Archive. So I pulled out one from November 12th to the 18th of 2017 called The Great Plate. And basically, I'm just going to go through the website to what they have here because um, they do have information on WeightWatchers.com. So under uh, Living WW USA, they have this WW's traditional Thanksgiving feast. So let's click on this. It says use this menu to take the guesswork out of what to cook for Thanksgiving dinner. Well, you probably already have your dinner planned. So then it comes to the perfect Thanksgiving dinner and what they've put here is says Thanksgiving is a foodies Super Bowl. Recipes are considered a game plan is created, preparations are made, then there's the main event, the feast. <laughs> but if you're trying to stay within your points budget, then there's the extra step of calculating each dish's value with the menu below. We took out the map, and the only thing you need to do is prepare and enjoy. So have a happy Thanksgiving. So they have a, they have a snack board. which is six points. I don't know if this is from... personal points or if this is smart points. It should be personal points, but... And then they have butternut squash, which is zero points. That looks good. Lemon herb turkey tenderloin. And the recipe they have in here is lemon sage roast turkey breast. This looks good too. I'm thinking about making this, maybe not for Thanksgiving, but just getting a turkey breast and making that. So this looks good. So this, this is I guess it's one point for me because I'm in my account, right? On my plan, it's going to be one point. So I get it now. So, yeah, the snack board is six to nine points. On my plan, it's six points. And the lemon herb turkey tenderloin is one to two points. And on my plan, it's one point. Mushroom gravy... I don't like mushroom. You can try it if you want. Kale salad with roasted squash, pomegranate and almonds, two to three points. Cranberry orange relish. Green bean casserole with almonds. It's two points on my on my plan. Does it have the it has shallots? Shiitake mushrooms, I would skip those. Creme fraiche, eleven points. But it makes, it serves 12, so. And then pumpkin pie with graham cracker crust is nine points on my program. That looks good. And individual stuffed sweet potato casseroles. I noticed this on the front of my app. Now, this, this looks good. It's going to be five points on my plan, but I guess this is the their version of of um, like candied yams. So they use unsweetened applesauce in there and ground cinnamon and sweet potatoes, vanilla extract, and mini marshmallows. That looks good. And roasted vegetable and herb stuffing, four to five personal points. On mine, it's going to be four points. And look, I get some pluses for the veggies. Brussels sprouts, finnable shallots, those pecans. Mm, fine. That looks really good. So some of these recipes, I hope they would, I should write them down so I can find them in the app later. Because Thanksgiving theme, well, maybe it'll still be here. However, I found it. So, I found it under the Living WW. So then I'm going to go to 
of this, the great Thanksgiving plate. So a few holidays are as food focused as Thanksgiving. We call it Turkey Day for gobble's sake. <laughs> From the bird to the buttered rolls to the creamy cheesy sides, holiday temptation abounds. So your go-to event prep tactics like having a nutritious and energizing breakfast or chewing gum while cooking might need a few reinforcements. A little advanced planning, call it a plate rehearsal. A few personal points and value calculations and tapping into your mindfulness mojo can be just what you need to feel more relaxed, in control, and ready to enjoy all the day has to offer if you're going by plane over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house, you can even stay on track while you travel with tips for healthier mid-air meals. And then if you click on that, it gives you five tips. Order ahead, pack protein and nuts, pester the flight attendants for water, <laughs> take a movie over dinner, and develop an attitude. If you work hard to maintain a healthy lifestyle and or lose weight, this discipline and motivation should not change when you reach the airport. So, there you go. Back to the holiday eating game plan. You can print out and use our great plate to sketch out the foods you intend to eat, the serving size, and personal points for each. Even if you don't stick to your plate, the activity helps boost your awareness so you're more likely to make mindful choices. But setting a smart strategy for Thanksgiving is about more than listing the foods you plan to eat. How about adding a few of these simple maneuvers to your playbook. Actually, I'm going to highlight this link and put it put it in the uh, the description of my video because if you're a WW member, you should be able to get to this by just going to that link. So, copy. Okay. So, build a budget. Consider your weekly personal points and decide how you want to factor it into your turkey day budget. Don't forget to leave some flexibility for holiday favorites like a piece of grandma's irresistible pumpkin pie. Choose wisely. Serve yourself veggies first, ones you like, of course. Decide whether you really want that sweet potato casserole or whether you're just scooping up a serving out of habit. Or whether you'll have a serving of stuffing or mashed potatoes or perhaps a half serving of both. If you're not hosting the meal, call whoever is to get a sneak peek at the menu. Volunteer to prep a plan-friendly dish for the feast. Get some tasty ideas from our Thanksgiving recipe roundup. I've never called anybody who was cooking me a meal to preview the menu. <laughs> I mean, most people, if I go to my families on Thanksgiving, they're going to tell me, you don't have to diet today. You're not blah, 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 blah. You know, you've heard it all. It's that I, you know, if if your people are okay with you asking what's on the menu, fine. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing if you're diabetic and you can't eat stuff, but we're just, we're on a lifestyle program. It's Thanksgiving Day, thankful to have the food. We can have self-control, and I've done it before, so I know it can be done. I know I can do it, and... I still don't think I'm going anywhere for Thanksgiving, so I'm not going to worry about it, really. Um, but, and then, of course, you can take, but you can take, like, that pumpkin pie and make it WW personal points friendly so you have that dessert that you can have and share it with others, and they might like it and might ask you how to make it, and they'll have it next time. So take an anchor along. If you're worried about wavering from your plan, take a small item, a picture, a goal written on a piece of paper, a Bravo star from your weekly meeting. <laughs> this is from 2017. Okay. You can keep in your pocket or place discreetly near your plate that will remind you of why you're making smart choices in the first place. You don't get Bravo stickers anymore, but it looks like they... They they uh, edited it, this <laughs> block somehow and got personal points in there instead of smart points. Because the actual thing 
the actual tab, you can't see it because I don't have it up there. It says 2017 Thanksgiving Smart Points, but this has been edited somehow. Which is cool because it's still going to work, right? So don't be a pushover. You may be encouraged to try Aunt Grace's famous stuffing or Cousin Tom's cheese straws. If you've accounted for these foods or you're fine with eating and tracking them, enjoy. But if you really don't want something, just picture yourself choosing foods that match your pre-planned plate and then politely and confidently refuse whatever you don't want. You can always ask to take a serving home to eat when you're not so full. So what you do with it once you're home is your decision. Now, just remember, with the personal points, you can get points added for just eating plain vegetables without the butter and everything else on there. You get those, get those vegetables and you can add points to your budget. And if you're active all week before Thanksgiving, you can add to your weekly. So you'll have more weeklies for Thanksgiving Day. You know the drill. And drink water every day to add, drink a lot of water that day and you'll get one extra point for that pie. So you don't have to really panic. <laughs> Just build your budget. Save up for Thanksgiving Day. The rollovers come into play. Because if you've had a rollover Monday, Tuesday, unless your weigh-in day is Thursday and you start over, you don't get your rollovers. Well, you could change your weigh-in day to uh, Friday. Because... <laughs> You're not going to go weigh in at the meeting on Thursday because I don't think anyone's going to be there, but they'll probably be there Friday <laughs> or Saturday even. Okay, here's another thing. Take a post-turkey trot. As soon as you're finished eating, excuse yourself from the table. The longer you linger, the more enticing those picked-over half-empty platters and bowls will look. Invite guests for a stroll around the neighborhood. It'll offer you a nice opportunity to catch up with friends and family and help you digest your meal. Number six, track, track, track. Pre-tracking is one of the best strategies to help you stay on course because it's easier to make healthy decisions when you're not staring at tempting food. If you can, pre-track all your meals for the day, even if you end up eating more than you planned, track it. Accountability, not perfection, is key. And then seven, liberate leftovers. If you're the host, you probably have leftovers. So if you won't be able to sleep knowing that there's half a pie in the kitchen, freeze leftovers immediately or give your guests doggy bags to take home. However you choose to tackle Turkey Day, keep in mind that it's just one day. Savor the moments with your friends and family. Take time to reflect on the things that really matter. And remember that tomorrow you'll wake up with a clean slate. Yeah, there's always somebody at our family dinner who will take food home, so I never have to, if I had the dinner, I wouldn't have to worry about the leftovers. So, we, look, there's a, I'm going to go back up here because if you click on Great Plate, it comes to the plate. So it says, your Great Plate. Plan your Thanksgiving feast. Set yourself up for success this Thanksgiving. Sketch out your planned feast on the plate on the front of this placemat. Keeping in mind you must have dishes, portions, and of course... Uh-oh. Not smart points. It's personal points now. Values. Then use your plan to guide your choices at the table. So you can put the dish, the portion size, and just scratch out smart points and put personal points if that's going to bother you. <laughs> That's their called personal points now. Savor the flavor. Eat mindfully to max your pleasure and feel satisfied sooner. Here's how. Create a plate packed with eye appeal. Choose colorful veggies. Drizzle on gravy and give your food a little space so you can appreciate how it all looks. Look around the table for a moment or two and appreciate the setting, candles, sparkling glasses, autumnal touches, and smiling faces. Take a big breath or a few before you dig in. It'll help center you in the moment. Chew slowly and swallow between forkfuls. Food will taste better and your stomach will thank you. Put down your fork often and engage in the conversation. That's the longer lasting pleasure of the day. Pace yourself to the slowest eater. You'll be seated until everyone is finished anyway. So balance your plate. And so 
This isn't very colorful here, but they have like salad and then turkey and stuffing. And a little, I guess this is oil and vinegar for the salad maybe? I'm not sure. But let's see if I click on this, if this is going to get the portion. Oh, that's uh, one you can buy. Um, so you get it, the great plate. Usually they pass out a plate at our WW meeting this week, but they didn't do it this time because they launched the personal points. So basically they talked about zero point foods this week and that's how um, they were just talking about how to build up your points to be able to fit in the extras. So anyway, we can think again. Even the best plans can go off kilter in the face of your favorite holiday foods. Reframe your thinking to stay on course. So an unhelpful thought would be, wow, look at all this amazing food. I know myself. I'm going to end up trying all of it. And, no, excuse me. I did at the last, at, at Thanksgiving. My first week on WW in 2017 was Thanksgiving week. I've mentioned that. I just took a spoonful of each. I did taste everything. I just didn't. I didn't choose a big serving of mashed potatoes or stuffing. I just took a couple spoons of each. I just didn't take a whole serving of that stuff. So a helpful thought would be, look at all this amazing food, but I'm prepared. I'll keep my great plate in mind. If I want something else, I'll swap a food out or have just a bite. So here's another unhelpful thought. Aunt Jeannie always wants me to take seconds of her sweet potato casserole. I have to or I'll hurt her feelings and never hear the end of it. Here's a helpful thought. I don't have to spend my budget on foods I don't like. I'll share my success with Aunt Jeannie. Jeannie saying, no nicely, and change the topic. And then there's more in here. So what to do, there's, you can have a 12 hour strategy. Fill in your great plate handout, which I don't have, but I got the pretty picture up here you can print out. I'll put that link below too. Um, so use these round the clock tips to help plan the day your way. Have it your way. So in the morning, eat a healthy breakfast. Regular meals during the day can help keep you from being ravenous at the feast. Mid-morning, before things get too busy, Carve out a few minutes to breathe, stretch, read, whatever helps keep you grounded. It can help you feel more focused, less stressed, and able to tackle the day's hurdles. And then midday, eat a light, nutritious lunch to keep your energy up and hunger level, level, level manageable. Yes, even if there's more food coming later. And then at the big meal, bring your great plate plan with you or snap a photo on your smartphone and give it a quick, discreet can before you head to the dining table. Then choosing your food. Consider all options. Then bypass foods you can eat any old time and focus on the special ones you enjoy the most. Can't decide? Take bite-sized portions of a few rather than a full portion of one. Snap a pic of your plate in case you want to track later. See, you can still track it later and see how many weeklies you used. After eating, wait five minutes before having seconds to see if you're still hungry. Move away from the food to focus on the other F words. Family, friends, and fun. So food is not the only F word. Family, friends, and fun. And then after dessert, declare the meal done. Then switch gears. Help clear dishes, suggest a walk, or settle down to watch the game. Nothing like a Thanksgiving meal and you go to bed and your stomach is just like so stuffed. And then you're so sleepy from the turkey. Those are holiday memories. <laughs> that I'm trying to skip this year. But we'll see if I get away with it. Do you think I'll get away with it? Nobody called me today. Nobody's pulling my arm, so I think I'll be safe. So that's the great plate and just to prepare for Thanksgiving. We can survive Thanksgiving. We can survive Christmas. I, I, Thanksgiving is an easy day for me. It's not so much. I've eaten too much on Thanksgiving before, but 
for me, the holidays, it's the days leading up to Christmas and all the goodies that are around. Everybody's baking cookies and those kind of things. And, well, when I was working, people would give me cookies that they made for a Christmas gift because I was bringing their mail every day. and Or they'd give me candies or this or that. Or people would bring baked goods into the office and candies. <laughs> just all kinds of celebrations, not just on Christmas Day. Thanksgiving is one day, and then usually I don't get to cook the meal because I have to go to somebody else's home. They won't. You know, I just have an apartment, and they're not going to travel over here, like I said before, but I have to travel over there, whether it be by plane, bus, or whatever. I got to get there. So <laughs> sometimes it's five buses, but this year the buses are taking the day off. They did that last year because of the pandemic, and now they're doing it again this year. So Thanksgiving Day, I don't have my bus to get there, and I don't have my bus on Christmas Day. So maybe they'll open back up again next year. So that just leaves the Amtrak bus, which will be full, full because there's no other. It's only one, one bus, so it's already booked. So, you know, since I don't have any definite plans, I can't get stranded over there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so... Because I don't want to spend the night over there. I just don't want to spend the weekend. And uh, I'm very grateful to have my family, but you know what? And it's just going to be another day here for me on Thanksgiving, and I'm thankful for that because I'm going to enjoy it, even if I'm not having Thanksgiving meal with my family. I have a family to go to. There's a lot of people who don't have family, and um, they're just going to be sitting home alone, and they're... It kind of makes me feel like maybe I'm ungrateful, but I am grateful. Uh, it doesn't mean I'm ungrateful because I don't want to go. <laughs> it's not that I don't want to see them. I want to see them. It's just the circumstances because I can't drive on the freeway. And it's, I'm not going to have somebody drive all the way from there, come and pick me up and take me over there. I'm not going to inconvenience them. They all have their kids. They all, okay. They all over there have their kids and grandkids, and they have their own family. I have just me and my son, so I can just be here with my son. That's I'm grateful for that. And I've, I've traveled over there many, many years, many, many years. A lot of times, because I was the non-drinker, I had to drive other family members so they could drink, and I drove them home, and I was panic attacking all over the freeway. And I would bring my sister's mother-in-law with me, too. She'd be... I had a Jeep Cherokee, so I, it was full. I used to drive my grandparents, which they were they were okay. My sister's mother-in-law, she died last year too, so she's you know she's not going to be coming. And um, so there's just a, there's a lot of memories on that freeway. <laughs> I ended up calling me Aunt Scary Ann, my nephews, you know, and they still call me Aunt Scary Ann to this day. Well. They finally believed me that I cannot drive the freeway. And uh, so my brother drives me there from time to time, but he hasn't called me, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to ask, and um, I'm just going to, I'm trying to be like a stealth, <laughs> just like, I don't want any of them to feel like, oh, she doesn't have me. I do have somebody here. It's just that he has to work Thanksgiving night, and he has to work the night before. So it's not like it's. Just, I left him here for three weeks. I wasn't here for Christmas last year. I was over there. So why am I babbling about this? I don't have to make excuses. I don't have to feel guilty. I'm grateful. I'm not an ungrateful person, but I'm going to be grateful to stay home. And just not worry about any of this stuff. So, like I said, I talk to them frequently. It's not like they live across the ocean and I never see them. But anyways, I'll see if I can get the link to this in the video as well. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow with another WW Weekly Archive. And I'm not making a What I Ate in a day video today like I did yesterday because I'm having exactly the same thing. Exactly. 
Except I had a few snacks last night that I had to track, and uh, I still have weeklies left. And I didn't count any of my vegetables, so I'm still good. I'm still in the game. So anyway, thanks for watching.